Welcome back to Backstage Live. I'm Cheryl Lazar with Lucy Woodward. How are you? How are you? And you have your new album, Hooked, that you're promoting. You're here on the show, performing. Exciting. I'm happy to be here back in New York. I know, but you're from the Bronx, right? Well, I went to high school in the Bronx, yeah. So I live in Los Angeles now, but I'm a total New Yorker. So I'm happy to be here, you know. 4 a.m. <laughs> I know, I know. I saw you performing. You know, you look awesome now. But even then, you were, you know, rehearsing. It's always interesting watching the rehearsals when it's super early in the morning. I feel bad for the musicians. I mean, we all, you're on a little bit of an adrenaline. Like, I'm on uh, on L.A. time now. So I lay down in bed last night at midnight, and I said, I'm just going to sleep for four hours. And I actually never fell asleep. And I, I was lying there for four hours going, fall asleep, fall asleep, fall asleep. You're going to wait. You're going to miss the alarm. Fall yeah, asleep. Fall, you know. Exactly. So, yeah. I haven't been to bed yet. I'm fine. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep the energy going. So tell people what this album is all about. Um, this is sort of an homage, not homage, sort of an ins- inspiration um, of different, you know, big band, um, old Cab Calloway, Django Reinhardt, Peggy Lee, um, lots of inspirations from the 30s and the 40s, um, but with a modern day flair on it, a little bit of sass. A little bit, you know, the, the lyrics are more modern and the, the recording was modern, you know. Yeah. So um, it's a fun live show. It's a sort of modern day torch record, I'd like to call it. Yeah. And in terms of original songs also, I know you, you probably have so many inspirations and songs that you like to perform from the greats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wrote the bulk of the record. I have four covers on the record. Yeah. I wanted to do a Hoagie Carmichael song. Mm-hmm. Stardust, which is a classic, which everyone has covered, but I did an acapella version of it. And I um, do a song from my favorite movie, The Jungle Book, the, the monkey song. So there are different things that you kind of, you pick your covers by performing them live over the years and mm-hmm. and just throwing things into the set and bringing a song in saying, hey, let's just try this, you know, song and vibe it out. And then it, it was, you know, strong enough that it, it was easy to record. Yeah. And how long did this album take? Oh my goodness. Um, well, it was the eight songs of it were recorded with Tony Visconti, who's amazing, unbelievable. And uh, that took two weeks. I mean, laid down the tracks. Really? Maybe two and a half, maybe. And mixing was separate. Did a couple of tracks with Justin Stanley in LA and their other producers, Dan Petty, Tim Kosnowski, and Ital Shore, who, you know, we all kind of came together pieces from before, during it. You know, I would think between writing the songs and producing it and mixing it, um, under a year, but, you know, spread out a little bit. Yeah, and all out of L.A. You like L.A.? I, I love L.A. The sun, you know, it's amazing. There's a lot of great things there. All my best friends have moved there. Um, but it's uh, it's very different from the hustle bustle New York. And I actually did the bulk of the record in New York for all the inspiration. Everything's happening here. <laughs> yeah, all right. So um, in terms of your fans, do you tweet? We were talking about the mm-hmm. tweeting and how you were – and she had her, you know, her – friend doc or what is this is it sure manager Manager. i want to show the manager the publicist we have a whole crew here uh, documenting this and you're really into the tweeting do you connect with your fans that way yeah i mean now that this record came out you know before you kind of tweet with your friends and hey what are you doing you know and um you're waiting you're waiting at baggage claim like waiting for my baggage send because nothing's you know and then you have a record to promote and you say i just left rehearsal and it's just fun and people respond and sometimes you feel silly, like, do I have to document, like, everything that I'm doing? And you don't. But sometimes it's just fun to see a reaction of people who are paying attention or a, a radio promoter who's like, yeah. we're playing your song right now. And I'm like, thank you. That's, you know, you, that's another way for people to uh, connect. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible, like, the whole system of it, you yeah. know. What's your Twitter name for everyone out there right now? Lucy Woodward. <laughs> I like to keep it simple. Some people are like, oh, hello, kitty, Lulu, <laughs> no. <laughs> no I, I mean, like, w- why not just keep it simple? Do, do you find it's f- fun to bring jazz to a younger audience? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel I've had a lot of fans from before, from my first record that I put out in 2003. And those, it was a younger, much younger record, um, meaning the audience was much mm. younger. So a lot of those kids were in high school or junior high school. So now they're all grown up seven years later. So now they're in their 20s, early 20s, yeah. and, and um, that's very cool to see them grow with me. And um, more college kids are listening to um, 
sort of more adult. Not every. I mean, I love Lady Gaga, but it's not always for everyone. And yeah. you, 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 I get that feeling from um, the show. You know, from the show's the reaction. I do love Lady Gaga. I'm just saying, totally love like <laughs> <or I>, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, what's next for you? I'm what touring you? the West Coast this week. Mm -hmm. um, Portland, two dates in Seattle, uh, San Jose Jazz Festival next week, and um, Mount Diablo. Uh, jazz festival in Concord, California. So I'm so excited about that because it's the first time I'm actually doing jazz fest. It's a very different yeah. uh, demographic and uh, you know area for me. We're opening for uh, Natalie Cole and George Benson, wow. and so it's a very different um, direction. I'm just, I can't wait. I can't wait. Very nice. Well, Lucy Woodward, thank you so much for being here on Backstage Live. You can check her out on Twitter and her album Hooked in stores, online, everywhere right now. Have fun. Thank you. <laughs>